This is the first time I've ever given a tour of a spaceship, so I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the Halcyon spaceship that flies into outer space with Disney's Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. And this exploration does not come cheap, but for people who are hardcore Star Wars fans or are just looking for a cool, immersive, unique experience, it's totally worth it. Enjoy, you guys. This is awesome. A huge thank you to Disney for inviting us on this Galactic Star Cruiser. This was one of the most unique and coolest vacations we have ever taken. We traveled to outer space, you guys, for two nights. It was awesome. We do have several videos that show you our experience, and we hope that we are able to get you inside the ship and inside the experience through these videos because it was just that fun. So the video that you're going to see today, I shot on the morning of day two. I woke up really early so I could try to do the tour before many people were on the ship or before many people had woken up. So it might be a little bit discombobulated in the beginning because I was hurrying, trying to hurry before people got on the ship. But anyway, I hope you do enjoy this tour of the Halcyon spaceship. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Yesterday we were transported here via a Disney bus. We were greeted at the front door, given our new magic bands, which this is the key to everything when you're on the ship. This is called a turbo lift. When the doors opened, we were entering this atrium. It's a beautiful central spot of the ship where a lot of the activities go on. For example, there's some trainings that go on here and generally the captain, when she speaks to us, she speaks to us from that stage right there, just to give us updates on what the ship is going through and where we're going, that type of thing. Over here is the bridge. Every guest, every passenger of the ship gets bridge training. And this is one of the coolest things we did the whole time we were on the ship. You felt like you were in the middle of a huge real life video game. It was amazing. This is uh, a fully functional, oh, oh wow. That's where we're headed, to Batu, And I think we're gonna be getting there in a couple of hours today. Back into the atrium. This is the water station. These are called holocoms. And on each side of the atrium, there are very tall holocoms. And they basically are given the information for the day. We're here. Transports are being dispatched from Black Spider Outpost and can be boarded on deck four. Okay, so our journey is taking us to Batu, which is in the outer rim, located at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So when we get there, we get to get off the ship and then we go through Disney's Hollywood Studios in the Galaxy's Edge and we get to see all the stuff that's there for the day. Very cool. So we'll take you on that. That'll be in a different video, but be sure to check that out. In the meantime, this is passenger services. They're always ready to help. Good morning. Okay, the stars light your way. Thank you. All of the language on the ship is very on theme. So they're always, they always say good, good journey. So when you pass someone, instead of saying good morning or hello, how are you? They always say good journey. May the stars light your way is like a very nice greeting. And my honor, they always say my honor. They do a very nice job. Now we're gonna go into what's called the Sublight Lounge. This is so cool. It reminds me of the bar in Star Wars, the bar scene in Star Wars, but like it is such a funky, cool space. And here is where you can get cocktails. And I ordered a Chardonnay and it's blue. Small bites. The small bites are like pizza and cheese balls and that kind of thing. And that is all included in your voyage. If you do wanna have an alcoholic beverage, that costs um, extra. But sodas and iced tea and that kind of stuff is all included. This is the coffee service for the morning. They always have some type of snack out. This is a Batu and Clementine. And there's coffee, very beautifully set up, very nice service with silver and everything. And this is so, the details on the ship are amazing. This is just a little, I'm gonna call it a fish tank, just hanging out here at the lounge. I'm not sure what kind of fish it is. It's probably a space fish. In the middle of the sublight lounge is this game. So you can see there's some dice there. Here it's like a card dice game that I haven't quite figured out yet. And there's training on the ship where they'll just teach you how to play the game. And in the, in the merchandise shop, you can also buy the game to take home with you. Not the big table, but the chips and the cards and the dice. 
So they've even invented their own game on this ship, which is truly amazing. I'm gonna take you next from the atrium. There are two other decks that we'll look at. All right, you guys, here's a directory. This will give you an idea. This is the ship right here, and these are the different decks. Right now we are on deck six, which is the atrium deck. Deck seven is where we live. Deck five has more cabins, yes. And deck four is where the dining room is and some other things that I will show you. So it's all written, of course, in English and in something else. <laughs> I've just been informed that the other language that all of this is written in is called Arabesh. We could take the stairs, which are over there, but let's take the transport pod down to the lower deck. And by the way, I'm filming you on my data pad. That's what they call it. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that there are a lot of these things around and I can't remember what they're called, but this is where you get your information because you sign in on your data pad, which is your cell phone, to an app that gives you updates. It's like your communications app for the day. So oftentimes you're given comms, communications, about what's going on on the ship. You're communicated to, everybody gets individual ones. So Ryan and I don't get the same one that Mike gets, for example. Mike doesn't get the same one that I get. So when I get a communication, it's from somebody on the ship, not necessarily another passenger by any means, but the passengers don't speak to each other, but the ship's captain, the cruise director, other characters that come on the ship are going to communicate with you because they're sort of asking you if you might be able to help them in some way, and that's how the story unfolds. And based on your answers, they might send you on specific missions. When they send you on a mission, generally, you use your magic band to sign in to the machine and oh, there I am. So I have, oh, they have unlocked access for me to the engineering room, but I, and the cargo hold is locked. I can't get in there. But this is my holding cell keypad code if I ever were to get put in the brig, which is the jail. Make sense? <laughs> it is quite intricate, but so darn cool. All right, so now since we're on deck four, there are some passenger cabins down there. This is the engineering room, and I do have access to the engineering room. I was granted access by some of the questions that I answered. Now, I don't think everybody has access. Uh-oh, I had access yesterday. They might have denied me access today because I might be a threat to them. I'm not exactly sure. This is the brig, which is the jail. This is the holding cell. This is the brig. This is where I would punch in the keypad those numbers to get in the brig. And then you can go in there. Yesterday we went in the brig and we snuck out. You can see that little hole right there. We snuck out that hole and ended up in the engineering room. We had no idea that was gonna happen. That was quite interesting, especially because we didn't have credentials in the engineering room. We just snuck in. This is the ship's directory. This is the Crown of Corilla dining room. This is where we have all of our meals. Right now they're open for breakfast. And last night we had dinner and they treat it like a cruise ship. So you have a, a seating for dinner, either the early one at 5.30 or the late one at eight o'clock. And we have the eight o'clock seating. But this morning for breakfast, you can just show up whenever you want. It looks like there might be a buffet there. Okay, there's a show every night here at the theater. So this is the stage where it happens. You will notice that most of the passengers on the ship do dress the part. So sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between a character and a cast member. The food is also very on par. It is oftentimes different colors. Actually, this breakfast looks pretty normal. Dinner last night was a little bit crazy. And they have their own language. So for example... Now there are three flavors to our spiral dumplings. The green one is our flora korma in the center. The yellow one is our sweet and sour tipia. And then finally, that bluish purplish one is our teriyaki bamfa. Travelers, I have not been to your home planet of Earth. I'm sure it's lovely. I'm not sure if you've all the words I just used though, okay? So if you're confused by anything I just said, do not worry. Captain Keevan has made sure we have many languages to describe the food to you, okay? If you have any questions, just let me know. Fabulous. Enjoying it. The dinners and the lunches that are bizarre, like bizarre colors, bizarre shapes, weird stuff, but 
very good filet last night for dinner that was out of this world. <laughs> no pun intended. This is the climate simulator and they create this so you can really get acclimated to the climate where you're going to be going. Today we're going to Batu, so it feels a lot like Batu. Also it's very nice because when you're on the ship and they're really, they're, well, there are windows but you're looking out into space because that's where you are, um, it's really hard, there's no plants, there's no sunshine, that kind of thing. So it's nice to come into the climate simulator and feel a little bit like Earth. <laughs> Like all of these people are waiting for a transport because we have landed in Batu. So they're all waiting for a transport from the ship back or onto Batu. So we're going to be doing that a little bit later. Okay, now we are on deck seven. This is where our room is. See, there's another one of these information stations. And this is cool from a theme perspective. So let me just show you. This is the trash and the recycle. Everything is very on point. Okay, this is deck seven, which is the coolest deck. These are cabins all along the way. So see, cabin, 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 cabin. We've arrived. This is our room. This is how you get in. So again, you have your magic band, and you go like this, and the door slides open, and that's our room. I hope you enjoyed the ship tour, but if you have not yet seen the cabin tour, take a look at this video and enjoy our journey on the Galactic Star Cruiser.